Lecturers in different parts of the country on Tuesday protested against the no work, no pay policy imposed on them by the federal government following the eight month strike embarked upon by the academic staff union of universities, ASU. They said the actions of the Minister of Labor and Employment, Dr. Chris Ngige, towards the union would destroy public universities in Nigeria. Members of ASU, University of Lagos chapter, held a rally from the Julius Berger Auditorium of the university premises to the school main gate to protest against the half salaries they received in October. Speaking after the rally titled The Casualization of Intellectualism in Nigeria, the branch chairman, Dr. Dele Ashiru, said Ngige instigated the government against ASU. He said, it was Ngige who poisoned the FEC against our union. He started the campaign of no work, no pay against our union. Ngige dragged ASU before the court. He wrote the Ministry of Finance to stop our salary and made it prorated. He registered to stick our union to weaken our union, which was against the Trade Union Act. Ngige also wanted our union proscribed by suggesting that we have not been submitting our account. He is out there to destroy public universities. While speaking on the half pay, he added that the action of the government was contrary to all labor laws and taxes all over the world, adding that the government prorated ASU salaries so as to pitch the union against the student and Nigerians. Also addressing the members, the chairman of ASU, University of Ibadan chapter, Professor Ayo Akinwale, appealed to the government to restore normalcy to the education sector by implementing the demands of the union. He described the government's action towards the academic members as repressive, saying it was capable of causing more danger for the university communities and the student. The National Coordinator of Education Rights Campaign, Hassan Soweto, alleged that the government was creating portals for the incoming administration by failing to amend ways with the union. At the University of Jos, the lecturers also carried placards with different inscriptions. The chairman of ASU, University of Jos branch, who led the protest, told journalists that the group would not relent on the federal government pay the retail salaries.